I am going to sand and stain these nightstands. Which it's just like a little bit of a... I want my house to feel as calming as possible. So, the wall is painted behind me, the bed is up. The last sort of piece of this bedroom makeover is that I am going to sand and stain these nightstands, which are raw kacha wood, so I think it should actually go pretty well. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> so I'm gonna sand them with my orbital sander, uh, which I actually really like, it's by Gator. If I can find it or one like it, I'll link it. Uh, I should be able to, I think I got it at like Lowe's. I'm gonna stain them a chestnut color so that it sort of mirrors the this wood this olive tree. I, I want, you know, the leaves are bringing out the sort of like the green in the wall and this tree is sort of bringing out the wood tones and the nightstands, which already have some brown in them, but they're majority gray. And it's just a very cold color. And I'm realizing that being home this much, I want my house to feel as calming as possible. So bringing in these like warm tones that you find in nature are really in the game for me. So gonna sand and stain these and I hope it goes well. I'm gonna take you downstairs into my garage with me and we're gonna see how this turns out, how this goes. So I've gone ahead and moved the dressers into the garage from the second floor, so that was no easy feat. The thing I'm gonna do is just do a little testing with the orbital sander and see if sanding them down is even gonna work. It should, again, it's a kacha wood, so it should, but just, just do a little test. Um, I'm probably gonna do the test on, so that if I mess it up, it doesn't really matter. Um, I could even do it on the back and just see if the stain comes off easily. doing mostly what I want it to do. There is still some like gray like moments on the wood and I'm not sure if I should strip it or just leave it. And then when I stain it, it'll just be a part of texture of the wood. So I have to make that decision uh, eventually. But for now, I think I'm gonna just get it. I mean, this looks pretty good and it feels pretty good. So I may just leave it. And I think the vein is so dark that it probably won't make a difference. So basically right now, I just need to take the handles off of the drawers because <coughs> I need to be able to do the faces of these. Um, and I don't want, I have to uh, be able to get like underneath here. So I'm gonna keep going with the other one on the top. And then I'm not gonna sand the insides of the drawers because they look pretty good sides and then there'll be time to stain them so BRB
<laughs> Good Lord. I am truly covered in dust. So they look amazing. I got almost all of the gray wash off and I'm really happy with how they turned out. It's just like a little bit of a close up. The next thing up on my list here is I got a satin espresso stain and this is what it looks like. It's by Miniwax. I really like this company. I usually use them when I'm staining, staining wood. So it just says to sand with 220 grit sandpaper. <coughs> I don't need to do that because I obviously just finished sanding these and then use a high quality brush to apply a very thin coat. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm literally just gonna open this can up, put some gloves on and apply a thin coat of this stuff and let it dry. I have to go to the premiere of Pea Valley season two tonight. So I'm trying to get this done, at least with the stain before I have to start getting ready, um, which is basically I need to start getting ready in like two hours. So I should be fine. This sanding took me like maybe like an hour and a half to get all eight sides done. So staining should be a breeze. <sighs> Okay, that is it for the sanding and staining of these dressers. I am going to, I'm kind of contemplating, I'm contemplating the handles are like a, what the handles look like. And I'm contemplating getting some rub and buff, putting these into brass colored. I think it would actually be so beautiful and it would match all the other fixtures in my place. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to pick up some rub and buff before I reattach these. So it's the next day. The dressers are drying in the background there in my garage. I had to add like oh, another coat in a couple spots just because it looked like it was like dripping and I wanted to look even. I don't want it to look like there are like gobs running down the side. So anyways, in the meantime, while that dries, and then after it dries, I'm gonna add a coat of polyurethane and then that'll be that. But I have these handles still, they're the silver color. I don't really like it. I feel like silver's not my thing. I'm more of a bronze girl at this point, especially with this makeover. So I bought some rub and buff and I've never used this before, but I've seen other people use it in their videos. Basically, it's supposed to like give metallics, metals, like a bronzy look without making it look like you like paint it on it. So essentially it just says to use a cloth, fly evenly with a thin gentle rubbing motion, buff for more luster, clean hands with soap and water, blah, blah, blah. Um, one tube covers 20 square feet. I mean, that's plenty. Um, and it's for, yeah, so seems pretty self-explanatory. It says you can even use your fingertip, but I'm not gonna do that, I need a cloth. So let's see how this turns out.
that shockingly went really, really well. The most amazing, amazing thing to me is that the minute you put it on, because it's porous, I don't know, the way it just reacts with the materials, it's, it's like dry. I'm gonna let it cure, but it's not like a perfect gold. It's like, it's gonna look more antiqued, which is obviously what I'm going for. And also the longer it cures, the more kind of patina it's gonna look like it has on it, which I also think is really cool. So I'm really happy with how these came out. Brainstorming other places in my house, I can change the color of things that I don't like, like specifically chrome. I hate chrome. So I feel like this could be a thing. Just like that is the sort of finished product. He's very handsome next to this brown. It's very, very handsome. I think it's gonna look fabulous. So. so funny story, I actually ended up buying some brass hardware knobs that are completely different from the ones I rub and buffed, but I wanted to come in, include the rub and buff process in this video because it's a really, really great um, trick to use if you want to change the color of your existing hardware. So I bought these knobs off of Etsy. They're solid brass, they're heavy, they're beautiful. I will include a link down below from the seller because she has other brass hardware and they were pretty reasonably priced. And I love the shape. It gives them a sort of more, um, almost vintage feel instead of that sort of hard angled modern. So stay tuned for part three of this makeover where I do the reveal and I style the bed and the whole room and talk about everything. Thank you.